Okay, hey guys, Steve here from sellthehelper.com and this time I wanted to talk about five things you can do to overcome fear or anxiety when you are thinking about or on your CELTA course. Something that happens to all of us and don't worry, you can get through it and you can overcome it. And I'm gonna go through in a moment five things. But first, I'd just like to say that if you want to take your CELTA preparation or ELT learning to the next level, professional development online, there's a fantastic website to do that called Language Fuel, and that's languagefuel.com. And as a subscriber, or watcher, reader of CELTA Helper, you can get an exclusive 10% discount if you use the code CELTA Helper, and you can get that in the description below this video. And the website is full of things to help you prepare for becoming an ELT professional or developing. It's great for professional development, I should add. They've got lots of people contributing content from all kinds of backgrounds in ELT. And they also offer courses inside the platform. And I'm recommending it to you because I think it's a fantastic resource and I've used it myself. So check that out, languagefield.com. If you go to the memberships, you can see the prices, all extremely reasonable. It's in New Zealand dollars. And yeah, get yourself an exclusive 10% discount with the code below. So let's come back to Celta Fear now. First thing you can do is remember that everyone starts somewhere. Okay, you've got to start on a Celta course and it's for people like you to learn, okay? So everyone's got to start somewhere. If you're really worried about how good or bad you think you are at teaching, don't be, okay? The whole point is a CELTA, of a CELTA is to train you, to get you through, to take you to the next level. So even if you think you've probably got the least experience, there's gonna be a lot of other people like you. And we've all got to start somewhere. Experience isn't the main factor. It's really just about having a go, taking on board what they say, and going for it. Okay, so point number two. Your CELTA is a time to learn, okay? It's not the time to actually perfect your craft. It is the time to learn how to do it. So you have a chance to make mistakes, to get things wrong. That is what is there for, okay? You're not going in to start off perfect and finish perfect. You're going in to learn and you've got a whole course that is designed to help you learn. So don't think you have to know everything, okay? And that leads on to point number three. You only need to be one step ahead of your students. And by that, I mean, if you think you need to know everything about grammar, hopefully you're getting the idea that's not true. You just need to know one more thing than them on that day. Some of the students might scare you, they might seem like they're really good, but you being on the CELTA course will know more than them. And even if you're worried about a new grammar point, you just have to know that grammar point for that day. You don't have to know everything, okay? So don't let that stress you out. Just think of it like that. One step ahead is all you need. You have a detailed lesson plan now you've worked on this beforehand. Obviously from the start of the course, you have a bit less to say in this, but you have a detailed plan. You have thought about it in advance. So you don't need to worry if things go wrong because you can always come back to the plan and you can have that plan close at hand. Okay, so you've thought about it, it's detailed. Yes, there might it might not be perfect, but you don't need to think about oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it's all back on the paper. And you just keep that in front of you the whole time, things will go okay. Yes, like I said, we can make mistakes in our plans, but even so, you've got something there. You're not doing it blindly, so just take that and let it give you some confidence during your lessons. Okay, and now number five, last one. Okay, so things will go wrong. But if we have this in mind, we can also start to think about contingency. Now, things are always gonna go wrong. They always do in lessons. I had something go wrong this week, bit of a technical issue. 
you've just got to plan for it okay you've got to think okay if this happens worst case scenario what would i do at the end of the day you always want to be able to keep it going so try to always have some kind of contingency in the back of your mind now i'm not saying like think about every possible thing to go wrong but students are extremely flexible so if you just keep the momentum going and either skip an activity or do it in a slightly different way they don't mind they just want to learn so don't let any small hiccup completely throw you out of rhythm and make you lose your confidence you've got these ideas in mind you should be fine okay so there you go that's five things to think about to help you with this, the dreaded self of fear happens to everyone okay we all get worried anxious and so on and you know it, it's just a natural thing it, standing up in front of a group of people is quite a scary experience but you will be all the better for it it'll help you grow in confidence and it will help you understand a lot about yourself and about helping people to learn so it's a fantastic experience if you want to read a bit about dealing with stress on the Celtic course I've written a blog article about that uh, I'll put a link below that's over on celtahelper.com and also if you want to get a free ebook to help you prepare for the CELTA check out bit.ly.com forward slash CELTA prep again link in the description to this video if you like this video give us a thumbs up and a subscribe to see more and if you know someone who's taking the CELTA feel free to share it with them so they don't have to struggle with these same problems as well so hope you enjoyed and i'll talk to you again soon thanks for watching